This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 1922, We Have What It Takes, by Sid Savara with markandangel.com. And I'm Justin Mollick, your personal narrator, reading to you every day, including holidays, from the best blogs or articles I can find. And now let's get right to our next article and continue optimizing your life. We Have What It Takes, by Sid Savara with markandangel.com. Day one. The very first day of class, I walked in and addressed my students. You will be graded on your homework, weekly quizzes, and two exams. I do not play favorites, I do not grant extensions, and I do not grade on a curve. One hand shot up. Is it true that less than half of your students pass? Yes, that's true. Last semester out of 17 students, five earned a B or better. You are welcome to switch sections if you want. Four of the students got up and left, but Albert, somewhat surprisingly, remained. Albert was one of my students last semester. Last semester, he wasn't doing too well, and I told him he may be better off dropping the class. But he stuck it out to the end and earned a D for his efforts. I spoke to him after class again today, and he assured me this semester was going to be different. He was determined to do better. Albert came in for office hours, frequently emailed me for help, and struggled with the material. He did better, but continued to have difficulty with some of the same concepts he had struggled with the previous semester. In the end, things did turn out differently. Instead of a D, Albert had earned a C when a B was required to continue to the next level. He would have to repeat Introduction to Computer Science for a third time. The next semester. The following semester, I had a batch of 15 students, Albert among them. I gave them the usual speech, a few switched sections, but Albert stayed in his seat. I pulled him aside after class. Albert, I hope you understand the situation. You could easily pass this class if you took a different section. You know that I grade strictly, I don't accept late work, and I don't grade on a curve. Are you sure you want to remain in my section, or would you rather switch? You know, I appreciate your concerns, Sid. I'll think about it, he said. The next week he was back in class, my class. Albert was in my section to stay, but I wasn't going to go easy on him just because it was his third time. In some ways, I was even harder on him. He was focused and tried hard, but he was no model student. His grades fluctuated from D's to B's, and I had to have the old mid-semester do you want to drop out talk with him once again. Once again, he opted to stay for the whole semester rather than take the incomplete. Finally, this was to be his semester. He barely earned his B. I was proud of him and a bit relieved I wouldn't have him repeating my class a fourth time. My class grows. After Albert made it out of my class, something interesting happened. A couple semesters later, my section started to grow, and I soon had to turn people away because my section was full. Why would people continue to sign up for my section when they knew that I was a harsh grader and they stood a better chance of passing in a different class? I asked them and learned that Albert had recommended me. Apparently, he was doing well in the upper-level courses, and when people asked him why, he told them he had learned a lot from being my student. I had to go find out for myself what was going on. Why didn't you just switch? I learned that Albert wasn't just doing well in courses, he was now tutoring undergraduates in computer science. I caught up with him one day and asked him for the full story. He told me that as classmates struggled in the higher-level classes, He was so thankful I had been hard on him and forced him to really learn the introductory material without passing him along. By letting him struggle, when he actually passed my course, he knew he was ready for the next level and that confidence helped motivate him in future classes. Because I was so harsh on him in his introductory courses, it didn't faze him when later professors were strict with deadlines because he was already used to it. I appreciate that, but you didn't need three semesters to learn that. Why don't you just switch sections your second semester instead of repeating my section over and over, I asked him. I gave you the chance to switch twice, and you know you could have passed in a different section. I know, he said, but I needed to know that I had what it takes. Quote, if you can find a path with no obstacles, it probably doesn't lead anywhere. Frank A. Clark. Conclusion. Albert may have learned a thing or two about computer science from me, but I learned a valuable life lesson from him. He already knew the value of hard work and persistence, but having him as my student 
has taught me that when you expect the best out of people, they'll give you their best. People don't wanna be coddled and they don't want rewards they don't deserve. Just like Albert, many of us have the potential to accomplish great things and will willingly struggle against obstacles time and time again. We struggle because we believe the journey is worth it. We struggle because we want to improve ourselves. We struggle because we know we have what it takes. You just listened to the post titled, We Have What It Takes by Sid Savara with markandangel.com. And now you've probably tried meditation before and it didn't work, right? Or maybe you felt like you were doing it wrong. If mental health is part of your self-care plan this year, you owe it to yourself to try Headspace. Headspace is your daily dose of mindfulness in the form of guided meditations and an easy to use app. And it's one of the only meditation apps advancing the field of mindfulness and meditation through clinically validated research. I talk about it on the show a lot, even yesterday, a listener did. Meditation is a practice worth trying and having an app to guide you along can really make the difference of sticking to it. That's how it is for me. Headspace keeps me going. Headspace makes it easy for you to build a life-changing meditation practice with mindfulness that works for you on your schedule, anytime, anywhere. You deserve to feel happier. And Headspace is meditation made simple. Go to headspace.com slash old. That's headspace.com slash OLD for a free one month trial with access to Headspace's full library of meditations for every situation. This is the best deal offered right now. Head to headspace.com slash old today. And thank you to Sid, a guest author on Mark and Angel's site. Sid Savar is a creator of The Action Solution and The Outsource Solution. Those open up from time to time. Over the past decade, he has helped thousands of people improve their lives. Sid has been cited and mentioned on CBS, Inc., Time Magazine, The Wall Street Journal, Forbes, Fortune, and The Washington Post. He's a lifelong learner that enjoys developing software, leading teams in delivering mission-critical projects, playing guitar, and watching football and basketball. And after spending time in Europe, Asia, and North America, Sid currently resides in Hawaii with his family. Come by sidsavara.com to check out his blog. That's S-I-D-S-A-V-A-R-A.com. Thank you for being here and for listening through to the end. Have a great rest of your day. I'll be back tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.